Hello. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Fuck, I forgot how to do this. Hi guys, it's Nicole. <laughs> I spend so much money on an actual camera and then the iPhone 13 Pro Max is like amazing. Do you like my money piece? I'm just jumping on here. It's a bit of a different video to how I usually do. Jokes. So I am thought I would reintroduce myself and come back onto YouTube. Over the past eight months, I've been really trying to find myself. I changed a lot, actually, in the last year. In the last year, I changed a lot, but within myself and, like, own personal reasons, which I won't go into, but I definitely changed myself a lot. And I have spent the last month, eight months getting back to the old Nicole that I know. So I felt like I couldn't be on camera, even though I'm, like, on Instagram and shit like that, or I'm doing funny skits on Instagram. But, like, when you're actually doing a video and then you're sitting there and editing it, like, I didn't want to do that. Like, I, I just couldn't... I just couldn't, like I just couldn't film. Like I just, I had no motivation to do that. And now I feel like I ha I'm back, but like Nicole 2.0, you know? So like, watch out everyone. So yeah, so this is kind of like an update. Hi. So I'm in Los Angeles now. I went back to Dubai in September because I, I was actually supposed to do my interview. Plus I kind of stayed my three months that I was allowed to stay here in the summer. And oops, what was supposed to be a 10 day holiday? turned into a three month holiday. It was wild. Like I really needed it because in the past year, as I said, like I changed so much as a person and I just really needed to do something for myself and let go, just be free. I had like bought my first property at the start of the year and was so proud of myself. And I just needed to celebrate life because in the past year I'd just been so focused on other people that I totally lost my identity and who I was. So at the start of May, I went through a breakup and I was just like, who is Nicole? Like, I don't know who I am anymore because I've changed. And I changed into someone that I don't recognize. It has been a journey. It's been exciting. It's been, I have probably cried more in this year than I ever have in my entire life. But just because of my own traumas and insecurities, it's taken a lot of like, reading and speaking with friends and seen a therapist like that side of my life has just been really full on so so anyway i came to came to los angeles and i had an amazing time i started to find myself again find my groove who is the cold drink quarter right and i was like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna move over to, the, to la i'm not saying to dubai so I went back in Dubai, saw friends, spent some time with my dogs, got back into my routine, like preparing myself to move over because I mean, I come from a little village in the UK called Sunningdale. Then I moved to Dubai and already that's fucking nuts. So then I moved to Los Angeles and I'm like, this, this state is so fucking big. Like it's like 15 Dubais in one. So for me, I'm like, how am I going to live? I do really love it here. So. Unfortunately, the interviews kept getting cancelled. So I went back to do my interview and it got cancelled because of COVID. And then it's so funny because things really do happen for a fucking reason. And I, I'm really trying now to go where the energy flows. I, I feel that I always try and see good in people. I always try and find like, I always, if I want something, I try and force it to happen. So like with this interview, I was like, okay, well, I want this interview to happen. So how am I going to make it happen? And I'm like, you know what? It's totally out of my control. I just need to wait until like February now is the next one. However, the day before I'm about to leave, and I'm not going to go into what happened. My sponsor does something disrespectful. And I'm like, you know what? There's a reason why these interviews keep canceling because it's universe saying, don't go on this person's sponsor because it's not a good idea. So I'm boycotting that. Um, and now I don't really know what my plan is. The only thing I do know is what I'm doing right now. Like I am really just living in the current moment. These last three weeks I've been in LA 
have been amazing. Uh, my friend Alex, Alex Draknik, hello, you Russian whore. She's been amazing. She's taken me under her wing and I've just met so many people and I went viral, I went on 50 Cent's page. 50 Cent, you didn't tag me, you naughty boy. We did a video together, it was like enough, my second week of being here and we went super viral. So that was cool. And I would say my goals now are, I mean, I'm gonna keep building my property portfolio. I, when I went back to Dubai, I bought another property, which is very exciting. I'm super happy that that part of my life is like my, I guess I'm just building towards my future. I'm still very, very amateur in the crypto and NFT world, and I'm still wanting to learn more, but I think that will come naturally as and when I keep networking and meeting people. I guess social media, oh yeah, my Instagram got taken down. So my old Instagram account, Nicole Drinkwater, got taken down, it got taken down in June, and then I got it back, and then it got taken down three weeks later. I don't know what reason. And then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna build this second account. And if I'm gonna be completely honest, this second account is, is so much better than the first one. Even though I had more followers on the, on the second one, followers don't mean shit, likes don't mean shit. And I just feel that it's kind of nice to have a fresh start anyway. My Instagram or my second account was, uh, I would say the old Nicole of who other people wanted me to be. Whereas now my Instagram is me. Goofy, hello. It's me, like, this is who I am. So social media is definitely like a hobby. And that's why now I'm like, you know what? I'm back to being myself. So I can go onto YouTube and be like, yo, what's up? It's good, it's me, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm, you know, really getting back into my groove. So I'm here for another three months. I go back to Dubai in February. I, um, I, I think next year, I'm turning 29. I wanna travel a bit more around the world. I actually really want to check out the seven wonders of the world. I think that's like my goal next year to do the seven wonders of the world before I'm 30. So I just want to explore. I want to, I actually want to go and volunteer in Africa, which I am looking into as well. So there's so many things that I want to do like for myself, but also for other people. I feel that I'm the type of person who helps and I help, 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 but I give too much. So I want to help in other ways. So this is why I want to do the volunteer work and I think it would be an amazing experience and definitely humble me. So yeah, so I want to do that. Um, love life, I am single. My love life, I will definitely be keeping private in the foreseeable future. I will not be having a relationship on Instagram again because that was a fucking fail. I just think that some things, I will not keep my future relationships, relationships? I would say relationship. I will keep my future relationship private i just don't want to flaunt it all over the internet but that part of my life i will remain private for forever maybe maybe if i have kids and get married and i think yeah this is it <laughs> then you know then i will but for the time being it's gonna be private i am gonna try and find a videographer in la to take me around maybe once a week and because i'm always doing stuff and i'm like you know what i should just be filming this or vlogging it i mean now this phone the fucking camera is amazing it's better than my other Better than my, uh, my Canon. Who the fuck needs a Canon when you got an iPhone 13 Pro? I am gonna clock out now because I have a photo shoot, which I'm gonna be vlogging. I'm back and yeah, I'm happy. So I'm happy, I'm good, healthy. If there is anything I missed, I'm sure I will add it in the video and be like, oh, by the way, <laughs> and um, Please like, subscribe, and follow my new account, by the way, because my other account obviously was down. So follow my new account. I'm still on OnlyFans. And it's funny because literally I think more and more people are getting on it. So first they laugh and then they copy, right? That's generally what happens in life. So, toodle pip, au revoir, bon voyage, and we will see you again. <laughs>